Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video, I hope you are all keeping well. Uh, and today I'm gonna to be doing a full day of eating, 1,700 calories. Uh, and I don't wanna put myself under too much pressure here, don't wanna big myself up, uh, but I think today's full day of eating is gonna be the best in the world. There are some really, really good recipes in here. Game changers, some people might say. And I'm actually gonna start with a snack dessert style recipe today. Really easy to make, uh, but it does take a couple of hours to set. Uh, so yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you are loyal, uh, and yeah, let's go. Alright, so I'm going to start by adding 150 grams of vanilla fat-free yogurt to a big bowl. That is going to be followed by 30 ml of zero calorie maple syrup from bulk, 5 ml of vanilla extract, 1 heaped teaspoon of low calorie sweetener. Let's give that a mix. Then I'm gonna add 30 grams of double chocolate whey protein from bulk. Let's mix again. Okay, so this is how we are looking. Then I'm gonna add 100 grams of Cocoa Pops, or in this case, Choco Rice to the mix. I am gonna mix it all up. Okay, so looking good so far. Then I'm gonna spray this baking tray with some one calorie spray. I'm gonna line it with some baking parchment paper, which I always find extremely difficult for some reason. It's just so awkward. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I just don't know what it is. Okay, in goes the Cocoa Pops mix. I am gonna press it down into the tray just so it is nice and even. So this is what we have got going at the moment, a big block of Cocoa Pops. Let's top it with five grams of these sprinkles. Five grams of these go a very long way. Here is the masterpiece in the making. And lastly, I'm just gonna stick it in the freezer for two to three hours and the time just depends on what kind of consistency you like. So if you want them a little bit gooey, then I recommend closer to two hours. If you want them a little bit firmer, uh, closer to three. Alright everyone, so before I go to my next meal, I do want to let you know that there is currently 20% off the J. Clark Fitness Nutrition Hub. This is the cheapest that it will ever be. I don't ever see myself giving more than 20% off. And for those of you who watch my videos regularly, you will know that this is a place where you will find hundreds uh, of my low calorie, high protein, high volume recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, everything. Every single recipe has uh, exact calories, macro breakdown, ingredients, directions, a demo video for each. And on top of that, if you are somebody who is a bit lost on the number of calories you should be consuming to hit your goal, uh, the macros that you should be consuming to hit your goal, you will get access to my personal calorie and macro calculator. So this is all worked out for you. And as well as that, you get access to your very own account on my website where you can log in and track your progress as well. So yeah, if you are somebody who is just a little bit lost on nutrition, if you need inspiration, if you need direction, if you need clarity in what you are doing, this is 100% the place for you. If you've been thinking about buying this for a while, now is your time, it's 20% off. And I will actually leave the link to the Nutrition Hub in the comment section below. And if you click this link and use the code NUTRITION20 at the checkout, you will get your 20% off. Okay, so next up we have some egg white protein porridge. I've made a variation of this on my channel before, uh, but this is slightly different, and this is actually a staple in my own diet. It's something I have at least once per day. I kind of go through phases of when I will have it, so at the moment I have it for breakfast, but sometimes I do have it as my last meal of the day. And I don't often do this, but sometimes I will even have it twice per day. It's usually when I'm just being lazy, and I don't want to cook something that's going to take longer than like, Five minutes. So yeah, let's get into it. And for my next video, I'm thinking of doing my actual full day of eating. So what I actually eat in a day. I haven't done one in a while. Um, so yeah, comment below and let me know if that is what you want to see. And I'll do it. All right, so I'm going to start by adding 40 grams of porridge oats to a bowl. That is going to be followed by 150 ml of egg whites that I get from bulk. I'm going to add in about 3 to 4 grams of xanthan gum. This is how you spell it, by the way. I got this from Amazon, but you might find it in your local like baking store or supermarket, maybe. Then I'm going to add in about 200 ml of water. And the reason that I actually used xanthan gum is because it is a thickening agent and that just allows me to use more water which is going to make the dish a lot more voluminous and hence a lot more filling. Whereas if I didn't use the xanthan gum I wouldn't be able to use as much water because the porridge would just turn out really watery, wouldn't taste nice at all um, but as a result it wouldn't be as voluminous. I hope I explained that okay, that's actually a tough one to explain. Alright now let's give it a mix. Then I'm just going to put it in the microwave uh, for about four or five minutes and as you can see uh, the xanthan gum probably Probably won't dissolve fully straight away uh, so you just need to take it out of the microwave and mix it halfway uh, 
and it will dissolve fully in. Okay, we are looking good. I'm gonna add 30 grams of chocolate whey protein into the mix. Let's fold and mix that in. Okay, so this is the consistency that we are working with. This is the kind of consistency that I like. Then I'm gonna add 15 grams of marshmallows and 10 grams of dark chocolate that I've broke into little pieces. Okay, so next up we have a recipe that you could have for lunch, for dinner, to be honest. You could have it at any time of the day, it doesn't even matter, it's honestly so good. And I'm gonna start by cutting 200 grams of sweet potato into slices. This is the kind of thickness I'm going for. Then I'm gonna cut four of these bacon medallions, which is 120 grams in total, into little pieces. And I asked in my last video what the closest thing is to bacon medallions for people in the US or for people that just can't find uh, bacon medallions bacon medallions in general and the closest seems to be Canadian bacon and I'm not really sure what the calories and macros on Canadian bacon is but just so you could compare yourself if you're asked uh, so per 100 grams of bacon medallions there is 108 calories and 20 grams of protein so yeah if you do the comparison yourself comment below and let me know which has better calories and macros. Okay, so next up I'm gonna spray my air fryer with some one calorie spray. I am going to put my sweet potato slices in. Apologies if the background is a little bit noisy. I had to open the window because this always sets off and um, the fire alarm is so annoying. And now that the sweet potato slices are in there, you can't see them but they are, trust me, uh, I'm gonna spray them with some one calorie spray. I'm gonna season with some sea salt. This is how we are looking. And then I'm just gonna put them in the air fryer for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, at 200 degrees Celsius. And if you don't have an air fryer, you can of course use the oven if you want. It will just take a little bit longer. So in the oven, sweet potatoes usually take like 30 or 40 minutes. And while the sweet potato slices are cooking away, I'm gonna add my medallions to a frying pan. I'm gonna season with some smoked paprika, some garlic, some mixed herbs, and some onion powder. Let's give this a nice mix and let it cook away for a few minutes. Okay, so now that the medallions are pretty much cooked, I'm gonna add 80 grams of tomato passata into the mix. 10 grams of tomato puree. I'm gonna add some more mixed herbs, a little bit more garlic, and onion powder. Then I'm just gonna Mix that all in uh, and just let it simmer away for a few minutes until the sauce reduces and begins to thicken. Okay, so the sauce is looking nice and thick. As you can see, I have gathered everything together uh, and I'm just gonna add 30 grams of 30% less fat cheese to the top uh, and let it melt away on a low heat. Okay, so sweet potato slices are looking so good, really crispy and a nice crunch to them. And now let's spoon our mix onto each slice. Okay, so those sweet potato pizza slices are absolutely unreal. You 100% need to give them a go. And I actually recommend having them alongside a portion of veg, just to ensure you are feeling full and satisfied after the meal. And also remember that when it comes to volume eating, not every single meal you eat has to be high in volume. So for example, if you have a high volume breakfast, a low volume lunch, let's just say, and a high volume dinner, you're still gonna be feeling like pretty good come the end of the day. Your hunger levels aren't gonna be through the roof. Okay, so a bulk delivery came today. I thought it would be rude to not take you through what I got. It was only a small order, uh, but I got myself six by one kg bottles of egg whites. For anyone living in Ireland anyway, you will know that egg whites in the supermarket are just a rip off, to be honest. So you save a lot of money uh, on these. The shelf life is so good. So for example, today is the 23rd of September and the shelf life, um, which is like the expiration date, is the 12th of January 2022. Next up I got some Ajraganda tablets. These help uh, reduce stress and anxiety. Next up I got some creatine monohydrate. This is Creapure, which is basically a purer form of creatine monohydrate. Uh, it is micronized, so it just dissolves better in water, which is handy. And last but not least, I got myself a couple of bottles, bottles, bottles of 
um, zero calorie syrup. So this one is a golden syrup. Uh, this one is maple. As you can see, I've been using this today uh, already. Both of these go so, so well on pretty much everything. You know, so porridge, well not everything, but porridge. Uh, Fat-free yogurt, it goes well on fruit if you were just having like a bowl of fruit as a snack. Uh, maple is probably my favorite, but yeah, the golden syrup is good. So yeah, if you are interested in picking anything up from bulk, I would really appreciate it if you uh, went through the link in the description of this video. Just so the people at bulk know that you came from my channel. Okay, so next recipe. If you like cheeseburgers and you also like pasta, you are in for a treat. Okay, so first things first, let's add 100 grams of 5% fat beef mince to a pan. That is gonna be followed by half an onion that I have chopped into little pieces, uh, and one bacon medallion, which is 30 grams that I have also chopped into little pieces. All right, so everything on the pan is pretty much cooked, and now I'm gonna add in 100 grams of tomato passata, 15 grams of tomato puree, 10 ml of light soy sauce, five ml of low fat balsamic, vinegar, about 10 grams of zero calorie maple syrup. Trust me, this will bring a nice sweetness to the dish. A little drop of water. And now we season with some sea salt, some garlic, some onion powder. This smells so good. And some smoked paprika. Now let's mix it all up. I'm gonna add 30 grams of gherkins into the mix. And now I'm just gonna let that simmer away on a really low heat for about 10 minutes. And as that is simmering away, I'm gonna add 40 grams of whole wheat pasta that to a pot of boiling salted water and let that cook away as well. Oh, and weird little fact about me while I'm waiting on this to finish. So when I was prepping for my show, uh, gherkins were one of my go-to snacks. So literally eating them out of the jar. And the reason was because like, well, one, they are low in calories, but two, gherkins contain quite a lot of salt. So if I had like half a jar or a jar of gherkins or something weird like that, I get massively bloated and when you are bloated, you don't really want to eat. So yeah, when I was really, really hungry, gherkins did the trick. Bit weird, but yeah, it worked. Okay, so pasta is drained. I'm gonna add my medallion and mince mix in. Mix all of that together. Let's get that into a bowl. And honestly, this is tasty enough to eat as is, but it's not cheeseburger pasta without the cheese. So I'm gonna add 25 grams of 30% less fat cheese to the top. Then I'm gonna put that in the oven just for a couple of minutes until the cheese All right, so bacon cheeseburger pasta, what are we thinking? Is it a bit of you? Is it not a bit of you? Comment below and let me know. But this baby here has been in the freezer for about two and a half hours, so let's cut it up and see what it's like. And with the Cocoa Pot Protein Bars, if you are having three now and saving three for tomorrow or whatever, then I recommend storing the other three in the freezer. They will be hard when you take them out tomorrow. Um, but if you microwave them for like 15 seconds or something, they are a perfect consistency. So they actually store really well. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up there, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you comment below and let me know. And make sure you give the video a big thumbs up as well. I would really, really appreciate it. And as always, let me know what your favorite recipe was. So was it the egg white protein porridge? Was it the sweet potato pizza slices, uh, was it the bacon cheeseburger pasta, uh, or was it the cocoa pop protein bars? That is a very strong lineup, so I am interested to hear what people have to say. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you're all keeping well, uh, and I will see you in the next video.